Hey guys, Ken from Subi Speed. We've got a long awaited video today. We've gotten a ton of requests for this, so I'm pretty excited to be able to get this out there for you guys. We're gonna be taking the headlights off of our WX today and making three modifications to them. First thing we're gonna do is black them out, get rid of that chrome, and then we're gonna install the Morimoto LED C lights, and then we will be doing a full HID retrofit. So let's head on over to the front, try not to mess these headlights up. First thing we're gonna need to do is remove the front bumper. Very self-explanatory, there are bolts and pop clips up top as well as on the bottom and one pop clip in each wheel well for you to remove. Once you have all those clips and bolts removed, you wanna pull the sides of the bumper to pop that off and then you'll be able to pull your bumper off. Once the bumper's off, you can start unplugging the lights and harnesses connected to your headlights. The lights on the furthest side away is gonna be a little difficult to get to, so you can just wait until you get the headlight removed to get those out of the way. You also wanna make note of the bracket that is screwed into the headlight. You're gonna to need to remove that before you can completely remove your headlight. Now, we're gonna start off by removing the four 10 millimeter bolts that are holding in this bumper support. There's also a pop clip on the side that you're gonna to need to remove as well to get this off. Once you have that surrounding piece removed, you wanna go ahead and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts as well as the pop clip that is holding the headlight in place. Like I said before, you're gonna to need to grab a Phillips head screwdriver to remove this bracket. So once you get the headlights off, we can start working on making these look like this. Now, Subaru used a new sealant on these headlights that do not require us to bake them open, so that saves us a lot of time not having to worry about what temp or how long to bake them at. What you're gonna to need to do is remove the six screws on the back. One up here, three on the side over here, one right here, and one on the bottom over here. So go ahead and remove those screws. Once you have all six screws removed, you wanna take a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna start prying on the clips to pop them loose. Once you have all the clips popped off, we can start pulling the lens apart from the housing. Obviously when you're pulling this apart, you do want to take your time so you don't break anything. But just keep working at it and you should be able to break the sealant loose. There we go. Once you have the lens separated from the housing, there are three screws that are holding in the chrome frame to the lens. Once you remove those, you will be able to remove the frame. There we go. Once you have this piece removed, you wanna unclip the side reflector and the sea light cover, and then we can go ahead and get this painted. Now, some people choose to just paint this and leave this orange, but we're gonna go ahead and paint the side marker as well. We're gonna be using some Krylon Fusion for plastic satin black paint. We're gonna do about six to seven light coats, and that should give you a nice and even black. All right, so when you're painting those chrome frames, you wanna make sure to hit it at multiple angles so you get everything covered. So take your time, make nice, light, even coats, and you'll get a nice end product.
While we wait for the paint to dry, we're gonna remove the projectors from the headlight housing so we can do the retrofit. What you're gonna need to do is grab a flathead screwdriver and remove the covers. There's gonna be one right here and one over here so that you can access the eight millimeter bolts. Go ahead and loosen those and you'll be able to pull out the projector. Once you have those bolts loosened all the way, you should be able to pull this whole piece out. The only thing that's gonna be holding them in still are the covers on the back here. So just with a little bit of pressure, you'll be able to pop them off. Now we're gonna remove the four Phillips head screws that are holding the projector in place. Now that you have your old projectors removed, you wanna grab your new HID projectors and you wanna test fit them in the housing. And you're gonna to need to mark off some of the modifications you're gonna to make to this housing. You're gonna to need to make a couple cuts. In this area down here. And then you're also going to make a cut on each side over here and then you're gonna to need to trim this surrounding piece right here so it's flat around where the screw goes in. Once I make those cuts, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So after a little bit of dremeling and cutting, this is what you want your end product to look like. You have these two slots on both sides and then a slot for the high beam flap connector and you also have the sides shaved on both sides. You also have these little pieces right here shaved down by where the screws go in. This is what it looks like from the front. Now we can get our projector installed using the two lower mounting holes. Once your paint has dried, you wanna reinstall your side marker and then grab your new LED sea lights, guide the wiring through, and then you can reinstall your sea light cover. Obviously, you wanna be careful not to chip any of the paint that you just did, so take your time. Now, once you have the projector and the sea light installed, you wanna get those back into the housing and the lens and then we can worry about wiring everything up. You wanna make sure not to forget the high beam flap wiring for the projector. Go ahead and plug that in, and then you're gonna run it out through wherever you choose. We're running it out, out through the sea light opening, and then we can worry about wiring this up. Now, you can either have this mounted on the inside of your housing, or you can mount it on the outside. We're gonna choose it to mount on the outside so we have easier access to it. Now, it is very, Highly recommended to use new sealant when you're putting these headlights back together. Some people have used the old sealant and haven't had any issues, but if you don't wanna to have to worry about that, get new sealant to get that all sealed up so you don't have to worry about any condensation getting into your headlights. When you're putting the lens and housing back together, you wanna to make sure all the clips are popped back into place. And then you can get the screws reinstalled. Once you get your headlights put back together, we just gotta throw them on the car, get everything wired up. Morimoto does a great job labeling everything, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. For the sea lights, you have to tap into the blue wire on your turn signals to get that switch back to work. And then you wanna seal up that sea light hole with some rubber or silicone gasket. 
these blacked out headlights look amazing on the car definitely gives it a more aggressive look and goes well with everything else we have going on here and the hid projectors give us a ton of light output those new hid projectors plus the oem high beams and the projector fogs gives us three sets of high beams so you definitely have that light there when you need it if you wanted to pick up anything we went through today go ahead and click on the top right hand corner of the video if you guys have any questions at all feel free to email us sales at subispeed.com or give us a ring 888-885-2002 and as always don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on your 2015 wx or sci Remember to hit that subscribe button for more 2015 WX and SDI videos. If you haven't already, let us know in the comment section down below what other videos you'd like to see. Click that Subi Speed logo down there to visit our website and connect with us through Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We love seeing your guys' installs and projects that you're working on, so feel free to share those. Also, add us on Snapchat by scanning that ghost over there to see what kind of shenanigans we're up to in the shop or when we're out on a trip. And if you haven't already done so, check out our latest videos. Till next time, guys.